Welcome to The Low Code Show. I'm your host, Russell Youngblood, and this is Episode 7. We're going to dig into reusing modules in the Allen Systems platform. So if you've been following along, in the first few episodes, we had already built a web application based on a specific data model. And in this episode, we're going to take that data model and reuse it to start building our first mobile application in Allen Systems. So if you're interested in this topic, let's do it. So if you've been following along in this YouTube beginner series for OutSystems, you have probably gotten to the point where you've built this web application where we have a number of different products. We can see customers and there's a number of different screens to manage this data, but these are all web screens. And so over the next couple of videos in this YouTube series, we're going to build a mobile companion application for all of the data that you see here. Here you can see the full entity diagram of the entities that we created in the web application. And over to the right-hand side under the data layer, you can see the customer's entity, the order's entity, and the product's entity. However, if I'm going to be using these entities to build a mobile application, I really don't want to have to recreate those in the new mobile application. What I'd really like to do is be able to share some of the objects and some of the functionality from this module to the mobile front-end module. In this case, I'd really like to share the product entity. To do that, I'll select the product entity and notice in the properties, there's a public property that I can set to the value of yes or no. Once I've set this entity public property to yes, it can then be shareable throughout the infrastructure. Now I can build a mobile application and I can use the same entity in that application. Keep in mind that we'll always need to publish our changes whenever we make a significant property update such as this one. While I'm publishing this application, it's important to know some terminology. This module has now become what we refer to as a producer in the OutSystems platform, meaning that it has objects or it has functionality that it can share with other modules in the infrastructure. Typically, the module that would be utilizing that functionality or that object now becomes what's known as a consumer. And in the next couple of steps, we'll go ahead and build a consumer mobile application for the product entity. So back in the Service Studio application dashboard, I'm going to create a new application and I'll use the start from scratch option. Here, I'll choose the phone app template since this will be a mobile application. And then in the next window, we can give it a name, a description, and then we can also upload an icon for the application. I'll use the same icon that we used with the web application. Once I click the Create App button, that's going to give me the option to create a module. And for this module, I'll choose Phone App. Once I choose Create Module, that sets the base of our mobile application and then we can begin to bring in dependencies and then add screens to our mobile application. To set this mobile module as the consumer of the entity that we just changed in the web application, we'll go to the top and click on the Manage Dependencies icon. It should open up this window and then we can do a quick search for the Acme application. Here I can find it very quickly on the left hand side that shows all of the producers and on the right hand side, I can see all of the objects or items in that module that are shareable. Sure enough, I can now see the product entity and I can check the product entity so that I can bring it into my mobile application as a consumer. Once that step's complete, I'll go to the data layer and just check to be sure that I can see the product entity here. Now that that product entity has been added to this module, I can see all of the attributes and I can use it just like an entity that I would have created in this module. To save these changes before I start to build screens, I'll click the one click publish button. And in the next episode, we'll start to build screens based on this entity in our new mobile application. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video at the low code show. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe twitter.com, the low code show, YouTube, the low code show. And of course, Facebook.com, The Low Code Show.